So there I was, minding my own business, waiting for some new prospects to come my way, when this creep walks into my place. His name is Two Brain Cells Reynaldo, and he was more feared than loved. He was also more ridiculed than feared, but that's a different story. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Trying to make things f***ing interesting. What does it look like I'm doing? That? Oh. That's a question for another time, in another place. Yeah, you're getting it now. Right now, the only important thing is... Infiltrating... Uh... Nope, starting to lose it. Infiltrating the, uh... Stuff where you buy... Place. To steal... Items? Well, thank God you decided to put your two retarded cents worth in for my crime drama private eye fantasy moment there. I was afraid it was gonna turn out, you know, good. I'm sorry, Lil Ray. I haven't watched many crime drama private eye TV shows or movies lately. I know. You've been watching a never-ending marathon of My Little Pony reruns. It made me throw up so many times I think I'm malnourished. All I know is that we've been sitting around for months, doing absolutely nothing worth videotaping and putting on the internet. Well, I sure f***ing hope not. I assume you've seen two scamps, one goblet, right? Oh, don't remind me. That image has been burned into my mind forever. Yeah, like when the one scamp picks up the goblet, and you're thinking, Oh man, he's gonna steal that goblet, you know, cause he's a scamp and everything. But then he just starts smashing the other scamp in the face with it. Remember that? So much blood. And then at the end, when they counted how many teeth were on the ground, there was actually more teeth than scamps really have. That part was crazy. So many teeth. That video was almost as brutal as when Packrat went balls out ape shit on those robots. True. But did anyone figure out where all those robots came from in the first place? Not really. That always bothered me. I mean, villains usually have an ace up their sleeve and all, but that was just ridiculous. Agreed. But let's not talk about Packrat. Always makes me sad. I can't believe Lord Dippity Dubnar cried like that when we told him about it. I can't hold that against him, though. I was pretty messed up after I realized I'd killed you. They should just call us Team Team Kill. It's almost safer to fight against us than it is to fight with us. Well, I am an evil demon. And I was under mind control. So I guess it all balances out. I guess it does. So... Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that a camera? Is there a tiny camera in here? Well, I'll be damned. It is a camera. You don't think that maybe... Lil' Ray, I think we're back on the air. Oh god, you know what that means. Yep, we're about to have an epic and noble quest to complete. For little to no reward. Written by a 20-something douchebag. Riddled with danger and plot holes. And danger. I'm gonna let that one go. You get one freebie and that was it. I'm calling you out on every single stupid thing else you say from here on out. Fleeter floopin' poop to flighter slappin' flugin' rex. Okay, I'm gonna let that one go too, but mostly because I have no idea how to respond to whatever the hell that was. I was casting a voodoo spell. Well, isn't that just special? Hey, what the fuck is that? Ray, explain. Explain yourself right now, you insane voodoo-doing bastard. What the fuck is that? Oh, clever demon from the wrong side of the torn veil. Obey my commands at once, please. I said explain, not start giving that crazy thing commands. Oh, sorry, little Ray. I've been studying ancient evil magic in my free time. I never thought I'd get this spell right. I mean, you have no idea how many innocent children I had to kill just so I could practice it. As cool as that sounds, and it does sound pretty cool, I'm actually afraid that that, that thing might get out of control and kill us. You did say this was the first time you successfully casted the spell, right? Right. Okay, so unsummon that bad boy so we can get back to getting back to normal. Can't. What? And why not? Haven't learned that part of the spell yet. Oh my god, does your idiocy know no bounds? My idiocy might not know bounds, but it knows hounds. Hellhounds! No, Ray, don't you dare summon any hellhounds. Oh god, listen to me. I sound like your fucking mother or something. Okay, no hellhounds. Now, what do we do about this monstrous abomination right here? And isn't voodoo based on healing and not summoning unstoppable demons? I don't know, and yes. Then what kind of magic is this? I'm not sure, but I think it's probably voodoo. We just ruled voodoo out. It's no longer a possibility in this scenario, you genius. Okay, then how about voodoo? You know, sometimes I ask myself, I ask, how did I get paired with such an incompetent moron? What did I do to deserve this wretched fate? But then I remember all the horrible things I did to deserve this wretched fate, so... No rest for the wicked. No rest for your ass until you undo what you just did. Can't. Demon's gone. Great. I guess we'd better start looking for it. Well, aren't you just the most responsible little demon anyone could ever ask for? You know what? Screw it. This isn't my problem. Plus, I won't have you insulting me like that. In fact, if you call me responsible ever again, then I'll become personally responsible for mailing your corpse home to mommy dearest. 
She is always saying how she wants me to send her something special one of these days. Well, I doubt she wants your severed head in a pretty pink box. Yeah, I don't think they make a card that says, Happy Mother's Day, your son's head got cut off by his best friend. Please find enclosed one rotting severed head. If this is not your son's head, then please accept our humble apologies and return to sender. And we'll send you back a consolation Hot Topic gift card valued at up to $10. Man, I know some people who would kidnap an Argonian just for a Hot Topic gift card. I know I would. Hell, I'd kidnap an Argonian and a Red Guard just for a Hot Topic gift card. I thought you hated Hot Topic. I do. Hell, I just throw the gift card away. Then why bother with the kidnapping in the first place? I guess I can't resist doing evil deeds. Plus, when someone pays you, it's considered professional work, which I can add to my already impressive evil resume. Which reminds me, did you really kill a bunch of children to learn that stupid spell? No. I just wanted you to think I was cool and evil like you. That spell was just an illusion spell, which is why it suddenly left, I think. Wow, that's just sad. But that illusion spell wasn't half bad. I'm actually kind of impressed. Really? No, you're still stupid. Ha! Aw, oh, crap.